A grand and wonderful welcome to one and all into our 10th showing of WCTV this season. I'm Mikey Paisley. And I'm Maya Jaycox. Mikey, what's with the new voice? Well, I figure that since the West Sea Theater is coming back, I might just practice my vocal expulsion. Tis a curse of mine. I've spent many a night and day sitting up, dreaming of appearing on the silver screen. Mikey, you're a dork. For those of you looking for information on the Webster City Movie Theater's return, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Where did you hear about this new movie theater project? I have a buddy taking the entrepreneurship class with Mrs. Kramersmeyer who told me a bit about what they're working on. Oh, very cool. Our very own Chris Jorgensen and I had a discussion about it the other day. He's been working on a feature over the project for a couple of weeks. Aside from that, what else do we have on deck for this episode? Our techies, Chase Scoby and Tristan Graham, put together an applicable apps segment that will teach us how to download and activate Infinite Campus for our iPads, and Dalton Drager will be reporting on a very informative and necessary driver's guide to surviving road, winter road conditions. Right on! Take it away, Chase and Tristan. With students receiving iPads this fall, they're going to want to know how they're doing in class. By downloading the Infinite Campus app, you can keep track of your missing assignments and grades anywhere you go. To download the app, please go to the self-service app on your home screen. Alternately, you can go to the App Store and search Infinite Campus. Then, all you have to do is wait. After you download the app, then you're going to have to log in. To log in, you're going to need a district ID, as well as your normal Infinite Campus login information. The ID is VDKTTC. This has been Tristan Graham and Chase Scobie reporting for WCTV. WCTV. Maya, put your iPad away. We can download that later. We have a show to do right now. I'll be just one second. You're out of control. No, I can stop whenever I want. See, but you know what is really hard to stop? Your car in the winter. That has to be a problem for teenagers generation to generation. So it has. Luckily, we have a driving guru on our hands. Dalton Drager knows all the twists and turns involving winter roads. Show us your stuff, Dalton. Oh, hey WCHS, I'm Dalton Drager. Now, there's a few tips and tricks to driving. And one of them, do not text and drive. When driving a rear wheel vehicle, make sure that there are sandbags in the back of the vehicle. Be sure to have a half a tank of gas at all times. Make sure that your vehicle is heated to the proper temperature before driving. Make sure that your brakes are properly working before driving. Make sure your mirrors are aligned properly before driving as well. Always, always, always have an ice scraper in your vehicle. When on slicker surfaces, tires will behave differently than on dry surfaces. Make sure that you check your tire pressure before driving. When driving, make sure you have a shovel in your vehicle. This has been Dalton Drager reporting for WCTV. Thanks, Dalton. So, Mikey, have you any helpful tips of your own? The worst food to leave in your counter for their days is fish. Common sense is key when handling raw fish. Thanks for that, Mikey. Did you know when most people are asked for a snippet of common knowledge, 75% of them recall a lesson that they learned personally, while 15% recall something their mother said on a frequent basis. The other 5% said, don't forget to put the toilet seat down. Wow, Mikey. That was beautiful and eye-opening. Much like a blockbuster film, their equivalence has not succeeded in eluding me yet. It has, hasn't with modern Americans either. 73% of people said they enjoy a movie at least once a week. With that sort of impact, the Hollywood is having an 
having it out in our citizens. It would be ridiculous not to bring back the Webster City Theater. We have Chris Jorgensen queued up and action. action. For quite a while now, the Webster City Theater doors have remained locked and the rows have remained empty. For quite a while now, the Webster City Movie Theater has looked much like the odd right now. Empty. But the students in Mrs. Kramer's Meyer entrepreneurship classes want to change that. The idea to reopen the movie theater was actually the idea of some community members. Deb Brown and Jeff Pingle came to the school and asked if there was a class that would want to be involved in in pursuing opening, reopening the movie theater in town. Okay. Well, right now the plan is there is a group of community members that are trying to form what's called a nonprofit organization. And through that organization, they're going to try to build, uh, try to buy the building. And so right now there's a bid on the building that this nonprofit organization has made. And so right now we're just waiting to hear if the bank accepts their bid. Because the average student can help out once once the building is bought and the plans are going forward to reopen the movie theater, the average student can help by fundraising and because the nonprofit organization is going to be asking for the community support in raising funds to buy new equipment and to make improvements on the existing building. Thanks, Chris, and good luck to Mrs. K's entrepreneurship class in their latest endure. That's all we have for you today. See you next time on WCTV. WCTV.